Hello! <laughs> How is everybody? You know that I'm happy and I'm excited. I hope you are happy and excited too. It's Sunday. Crappy day because tomorrow we all go to work. <laughs> Boo! Um, hello everyone. This is Let's Talk GV. Almost every Sunday we do a little live stream with a few people. We always try to get around 100 likes. We are 12 likes right now. We're gonna do the like game later where I will count down and everybody presses the like game, hopefully. And let's see how many people we can get here today. Yes, we talk about uh, main topic, of course, my new order of a new car. Then we go through the news, I have a few things. We go through what happened the last two weeks, because last week I didn't uh, do live stream. I was a bit uh, 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 mega tired because the last... I don't know how long, <laughs> I can't even remember how long uh, I uh, worked my four days, then on Friday I filmed a video, Saturday I had off, Sunday I filmed a video and then last week I was, uh, and then I was, no, I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> Um, and of course, through, during the week I'm, I'm in, in the evening I'm editing the video, so I'm just filming on, on Friday and Sunday. But... Uh, yeah, and what's coming in the future, of course, as well. 74 people here. Hello, everyone. Uh, if you want to press the uh, like now, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Let's get the party started. Was Formula One race at the time anyway. <laughs> um, so, let's go through some news here that I have found and then we talk about the main topic. We have Hyundai has... Uh, changed the prices in their uh, uh, for for their charging card in Germany. Now Ionity costs 69 instead of 79 cent. Yes, and if you have the premium account where you pay per month, you get 54 cent. What is it? 749. No, that's something different. Five euros a month. Then Ionity costs fifth. No, where's where's the other one? Doesn't say. What is it? What does the premium cost? Tell me. I thought it's 5 euros and then you get uh, 54 cent. That's weird. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm not having it <laughs> anyways. Hey Grow M, how are Hello, Peter is here, Kitty van der Put. And Photostorm, Whitaker. a lot of people are here who are Patreons and members as always. I say it here. Become a member or channel. They knew about the ID7 way before the general public. They knew when uh, uh, I didn't order it right away, why, and so on. You, They all know stuff that normal people don't know. Next, Kia had an EV day. I got a, a press email as well. That was nice from Kia to send me that. They unveiled uh, a few concepts and new cars. Um, that They uh, unveiled the EV5 which is a smaller version of the EV9, but an SUV, not like the EV6, a crossover. And they also uh, sh showed concepts of the EV3 and the EV4, both um, uh, compact SUVs. And the, no, the EV4 is more of a limousine, but it should be this, I think. So this is EV5. Do we have pictures of the others too? It looks just as the EV9, just small. Allure. No, we don't. Uh, this is the concept thing. Where do we have other pictures? There's no pictures. This is just this. But it should be this one here. So uh, uh, a different version of the EV6 is than the EV4. We'll see. That will be cute. Then uh, there's a, a rumor going around that Volkswagen is working on an ID9, which should be the electric Phaeton, so very luxurious, big, and whatever. So, like the EQS or the i7 from BMW. We'll see. I haven't heard of that. Then um, Audi is reducing uh, production of the Q4 in Brussels. So I'm guessing that they don't need as much. Um, they're still building it in Zwickau as well with the other Volkswagen cars. Um, it's a bit sad that it went down. Then a new BMW iX2 was shown. Um, it looks exactly the same like the normal. I have the iX1 here right now and it looks the same as a normal X1 and the iX2 is the same as the X2. Um, ooh, 
typo. <laughs> production was written wrong, that happens. Uh, Volkswagen has, is, will stop production of the E-Up very soon. When was it? In, in end of the year, something like this. Where was it? Does it say anywhere? No, it doesn't say. I, I heard it somewhere. But E-Up will no longer be produced, sadly, because ID2 should be a replacement for that. Or maybe at some point ID1 as well. Then, this is interesting. Opel has, uh, um, has the Corsa E and the Astra E um, with the normal cars, so not electric. And they're, they're, they're offering them both for the same leasing conditions for the same price doesn't matter if you buy uh, ice or electric it's awesome and we uh, I, you saw the video ID4 and ID5 is was now available to order um, with the new motor with the new software ID software 4.0 and new hardware underneath um, and uh, for the bigger batteries uh, like I said the new motor with 210 kilowatt that should be more efficient Nobody has tested that yet, really, if it really is better. What I don't know yet is the ID4 Pro for motion has 210 kilowatt. It's an all-wheel drive and I still don't know if this is the normal motor from before with a different motor in front or it is the new motor in the, re in the rear uh, but uh, power reduced by limited by, by software. I still don't know that. Um, and the, they here say that it's the same base price that it was uh, like the, the previous models. I have no idea. I wouldn't know. And let's look at the Ionity map if anything has changed. Portugal's getting one new, Spain still getting a lot of new ones. France is so full but still getting ones. Where is... we need one here soon. i tell you all about it in a second. Uh, Italy well done uk northern ireland still building scotland has a few norway um five six new seven new ones one in oslo in the middle of oslo uh, denmark is getting new ones sweden is getting new ones what up here oh it's getting it's getting a bit in production here a lot more are being produced up here that's good to, on the way to finland then, is <laughs> someone coming? Someone coming? Come in, baby girl. I thought I heard someone. <laughs> no, there's no one here. <laughs> I hear ghosts. Didn't you hear something too? Ghosts. And Czech Republic is getting one new. Austria is full because there's not too many highways. And Germany is getting fuller and fuller. Look at that. One more Ionity here, one more there, one more there. Oh my god, even around Munich. And around here. Oh, that's a nice stretch to do charging here. Ooh, it's nice. And up here we have Dresden and going to Munich. And of course going to Hamburg from Berlin is nice can do that by highway uh, and Ionity. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see what you guys wrote. Look who is the rich lazy bum who ordered ID7. That's me. <laughs> nice car, Chris, but too expensive in our country. Around 70,000, so we're happy for you with Walter 2.0. Uh, it's close to 70 here as well. Um, early charging fees are just crazy they were good but now not uh, acceptable well in germany i don't know how about you but in germany prices for power all over went up big time and that's why they had to adjust good for the algorithm when pressing like it start really is it good uh, do you want to play, play the like game now we have 114 people here let's do that let's do it now because we're in the beginning just 10 minutes in um, I will count down from 3 to 0 and then everybody who's on their tablets and phones and computers don't leave just press the like just because you're nice huh huh <laughs> let's count down three go focus on the hand two one and like there is something ah it's a stupid mosquito and a fly that's it 
40. <laughs> Being attacked by something. That looks good. We have 40 likes. Can we get more? Can we get to 80, huh? That would be nice. 50. Come on. I want to see still 70, 27 cents for me. That's cool. 69. Look at that. Can we get more than 69? Come on. One more. 73. Almost 80. Thank you very much for participa participating. That was fun. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, are we? we absolutely need more efficient EVs. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if it has to be all about efficiency. It's okay uh, to be efficient, but um, it should have be fun as well. So, so if, if everything is just focused on efficiency, I think the, the fun goes away. Now don't talk about power, because power doesn't mean not efficient. We see that with Tesla. But f I don't know. So, so for example, Ionic 6 is so efficient, uh, but I'm sorry, it looks just so ugly. <laughs> it's, I think it's to the extreme where a bit less efficient and then still good looking would be would be better but it's just an opinion everybody will think something else and that's okay it's going to be interesting to see how long it will take for the delivery of the id7 that is true that will be very interesting looking forward to the id7 video thank you the delay production so chris could or could order his car <laughs> i doubt that everyone goes back petrol now minus 28 percent ev uh in september in germany really minus 28 percent okay sorry i'm late that's okay g you're not late automakers should target highway consumption lower than 160 watt hours per kilometer come on that's just a, a number that's that's way too low uh, unless you drive 100 then and, and in the winter and stuff it's not gonna happen and it doesn't make sense then the car has to be so expensive because so much has to go in that the consumption is low so a better heating better motor uh, more efficient battery technology and all of this i don't think so i think we're in a battery size that's affordable where you can get as uh, far enough and you can charge as fast enough i think we it will be get better and better but as it is right now i, I, I think it's pretty good I'm happy with it. I don't blame people who opt for ICE instead of BV in Germany. I, I don't blame anyone who doesn't want an electric car. It's everyone's decision. I'm never someone who preaches he should. ID9 will be your car after the ID7. <laughs> we'll see if it comes. The Opel deals have different kilometers. 5,000 for the EV and 10,000 for the ICE. Uh -huh. Just derated, I guess, for the formation. What percent is EV adaption in Germany right now? I think it was 48% sold pure EVs in Denmark last month. It's not 48%, I don't know, 17? Something like this. Reality is so expensive anyway, so must use Tesla superchargers. I had never used one. Haven't since so far, but I also still pay 35 cents at Ionity and I have charging credit for people who use my referral link, which is in the description below. If you buy an ID3, 4 or 5 and you use the referral link in the description below before ordering, that's important, before ordering, then uh, we both get 200 euros charging credit. I got one so far, I have 26 or so referrals, but the others uh so far did not either buy the car or um it takes a while or they did it uh, in the wrong order and but i don't see it until until something happens so so far i got one uh, where, where are we um ionic 6 is 2023's ugliest car i don't think so they're uglier cars but it's it's not so good looking i have no kilowatt hour charge and ionity will never charge there 20 000 kilometers in different evs in two years you don't have to i i love ionity for for a few simple reasons first it's Impossa right here so i have eight chargers with four working screens by the way four don't work um 
I, it's amazing for me to film a charging screen because the display is always on, not the hyperchargers that first are big and then go small. If I can set, set the hypercharger to stay big or to just keep stay on uh, somehow, I, I would love to charge somewhere else too. But Ionity are the only ones in my area who where the screen always stays on and I can film it off. It's just very, very uh, uh, nice. And for me, it's the cheapest right now. Just buy the ugliest EV in the most annoying color just to bother your environment. <laughs> when do you think you're going to get EVs which consume less than on the highway speed? I think the, not. I don't even know if that Mercedes, the one that went thousand kilometers, can do that. So I think this is a dream for the far, far, far future. And then you always have to think in the far future. Battery technology is cheaper. It gets cheaper all the time. And then it doesn't make sense to to put money in something that is that is more efficient when the battery capacity is cheap. It doesn't make sense. The, the price for an EV and making money of an EV, so it can't be too expensive, it can't be too cheap, it, it has to deliver what the people want right now, it's just the, mo the, the, the most important. And price is just that. Well, minus 28% may be true, but how many less ICE car is in the position now? Anyway, I'm no idea. Are you happy with the leasing price of ID7 now? Well, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Happy is hard to say, but uh, it's better than it was in the beginning. We have 85 likes, thank you very much. I'm sure if we continue and do one later uh, in 20-30 minutes, we can get to 100 likes and then we have reached the goal. That's what we want here, isn't it? But let's talk about what happened the last two weeks because I didn't, we didn't do a live stream last uh, last week. Um, what was happening? I had the Nissan Araya left uh, was the last time we talked, and then on the uh, Wednesday the BMW i7 X Drive 60 came, and oh my God, this was an amazing story for me. Um, I was looking forward to the car in a way that I wanted to see what is BMW making for a luxury car that is a bit more pricey. Usually the cars I get are not very expensive and BMW just doesn't care. So I don't get a Taycan which costs the same way. Porsche doesn't give me a car. They say I'm too small, I have not enough subscribers, not a lot of people are watching the videos. No, you don't get a car. And BMW is like... You get an iX1 for 50,000 and you get an i7 for 150,000. Nobody cares. There you go. It's just a car. Uh, the more advertising we can make out of the world and someone is thinking, hey, my, this car might be interesting to me. And they're totally right. This is how advertising and what, what I'm doing is, is there. If, if someone is out there and say, I want a luxury car electric what uh, well, I saw i i7 let's see and then they put in BMW i7 they they see a lot of videos where people are showing the car um, big youtubers and then they see Bernilan doing that doing his tests and they see my tests and then they can decide on it and uh, I think that's good and Volkswagen does the same um, uh, Hyundai does the same is amazing Kia is 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 great they're all noticing that this is the way to advertise and to make people know. <laughs> yeah, I saw that with Chris Reeve, poor guy. He's, <laughs> he's repeated so much, he doesn't get much money from it. Which is weird. I thought in Norway, uh, EVs uh, have a good selling point afterwards. I thought, I thought that's amazing. Porsche doesn't give Björn Nieland a car either? Really? Are you sure? That's weird. I'm not so sure. About, really? Maybe when, when the Taycan came out five years ago, but now I'm sure he gets one. I, I don't think that there's n no way where he wouldn't get a car, any car. I'm sure he gets a Lucid Air right now, the, the Sapphire, what's it called? Yes, so the i7 came and like I said, I was just interested how BMW takes electric to luxury. How can they do it? How is it? Uh, cars to actual reviewers, they only want you to make Good photos. <laughs> it's also possible that they have a different, uh, um, a different strategy for the marketing, and this is not that thing. Chris is not that bad. Thirty-five percent on many kilometers isn't that bad. So, so he lost thirty-five percent. 
That's fine. That's fine. The Taycan is due for a bit of facelift soon anyways. I can lend you my Porsche. That's true. We're not, uh, I, uh, Darren has to decide himself if he wants to say, but uh, Manchester seems to be a good, good area if you want to trade in a car and get something different and fast. <laughs> I want that too. So, oh, next week I want this car and it goes, it's cool. I like that, Darren. I would want that too. Bjorn is always teasing Porsche by saying Porsche until they kill the battery by fast charging. <laughs> okay. Taycan is, is, in my eyes is really ugly. Uh, no, it's not. The, the, the Gran Turismo is not that good looking, but the normal Taycan from the side, especially in white with the white rims, is pretty neat. It's pretty neat. I don't like the sound that it makes. It, oh my god, is it fast. <laughs> did, did you get the RS or just the normal one? Darren, you have to say that. Um, but, um, where were we? Yes, i7, back to the car. So, I got the i7 uh, uh, and um, uh, I thought, oh my god, this is gigantic. It, it is, you have to think, uh, the, the id7 is 70 centimeters, I don't know what that is in inches. Uh, longer than the ID3 and the i7 is 40 centimeters longer than the ID7. So the ID the i7 is 1 meter and 20 centimeters at uh, 11 uh, 1 meter and 10 centimeters longer than an ID3. So of course each on GT Quattro 530p horsepower is enough. That is true. <sighs> That's nice. Congrats. That is a nice car. Um, and so, uh, what did I say? It's gigantic. And especially the front. The front is gigantic. It, 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 that's why there could be a 6 liter uh, uh, gasoline engine in there. 28 inch, thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's so gigantic. And uh, I thought, oh my god, it's really weird. And like I said in my ID7 video, who would want this? This is gigantic and I don't get it. And then I drove it home from work and and I felt this is just different. It, it There's so many aspects to this and I didn't think it would be that many, but the suspension is one of them. The suspension of the i7, it's not sporty, it's not soft, it's perfect. You go over a bump, Nothing. You go over tiny little things. We have this horrible uh, highway here, uh, stretches where we have concrete plates. So every two meters is a plate. And when you drive with a normal car, you feel a bit of dun 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 dun. In horrible cars, sporty cars, it's dun 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 like this. In the i7, it's just nothing. And when you drive in a corner, it's not too soft that you're like, oh my god, this is too soft, it doesn't feel good. No, it f you can drive fast through a corner, it's fine. It was all-wheel drive, 544 horsepower, the 102 kilowatt hour battery. The consumption you'll see in the videos is not that bad. It's not, it's not efficient in any way because it's 2.7 tons. It's a ton more than my ID3. Um, but it's 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 still fine i think for that battery uh, i did two tests 110 kilometers now 130 and this is the most range i think i ever had in an ev but it's also uh, and it wasn't in summer if i would do it in summer it would be even more um, it was it wasn't that warm but it's also a gigantic battery so if i put uh, put uh, a model s for example would be way more efficient and would go way, fa way farther it's just I didn't never had a <laughs> I never had a, a Model S and uh, yeah but but this was interesting the steering is just different the noise level when you when you pull down the window you can see that the window is this big and you feel like you you're you know uh, bulletproof glass or something it's just totally different when you drive 130 in an i7 it the sound is like you're driving 60 70 or something it's nothing at a hundred when you go to when I go to work for uh, with a hundred isn't it's nothing it, I, I can't hear any outside noise yes you, of course you can hear but it's so quiet that the drive is is so quiet and this I, I say it in the videos the, the i7 was the first car I ever drove where 
Uh, it has a pedestrian warning sound under 30 kilometers an hour, but I cannot hear it inside the car <laughs> because it, it's so isolated and, and, and quiet. It was awesome. Um, I liked it a lot in those aspects. It's way too big. Uh, uh, the trunk is, is very long and, and there's, there's a lot of downsides why I would never buy this car. But I appreciate for what it is. If someone says I want a comfortable EV, uh, I, I spend all the money, I don't care, and uh, uh, comfortable and a lot of features, then this is your car. <laughs> it was, the, I only had it for a week. BMW only gave it, gave it to me for, for seven days. And like I said before, I have to work four days. So I had on two days, I had to film my tests. I would have loved to do way more uh, tests with it. But I couldn't. Um, I drove, I don't know, a thousand kilometers with it and it, it, I liked it. I really liked it. This is something I could see. Um, this Wednesday then, uh, i7 was picked up and I got the iX1. It's uh, outside right now. Uh, I drove today my, uh, no, I drove both tests already, 110 and 130. So in the review, videos are done. I haven't edited them yet. Um, they will come this week and I'm guessing i7 videos will come this week and, and ix1 videos next week then, so the week after. Um, yes, uh, ix1, uh, I have to say it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm not very, very keen on it. Where the i7 was so amazing and ix3 I liked a lot, the ix1. I don't know. It's my problem with BMW's uh, BMW electric cars was always that it's not a dedicated electric platform that they just take the normal cars and then make make an electric version and then they don't get all the the pros that you can have from electric drive. Um, and and with the i7 you didn't feel it that much except for the for the front hood it's just way too long but in the in the in the ix1 i feel it more that this is changed and uh, um, i don't know there are other cars in that area i think that are better um, but a lot of people also like bmw a lot and this is their thing um beef man werken Bliff, Bliff is Bavarian, I didn't, uh, and Mar is, is, is motor, I had no idea. So, uh, where were we? No, I can lend you, I can lend you my Porsche. <laughs> Björn is always teasing, take hand, blah, blah, blah. oh my god, it's fast. Don't you find uh, the ID7 too big and what's your expectation on the ID4 2024? The ID7 is big. And I would have liked uh, not as big of an EV. I didn't want an SUV, but uh, this is um, what I like about the ID7 fanboy. <laughs> what I like about the ID7 is that it's still it's a big car, but it has a lot of new functions, luxury functions, and comfortable functions that I want. And it has, even though it has the same battery as ID4, 5, and ID3, it has a lower consumption. And that seems very, very interesting to me. So if they would make a Model 3 size ID car, I would have preferred that if it would have the same uh, comfortable functions. And I doubt that they would give it uh, those functions in a smaller car because this is for, for the masses. Uh, and then they don't put that in. I th that's just the thing. And what's the expectations on the ID4? Uh, what in in what way? I drove the ID5 already, the new one, the GTX. You can expect a bit more range. How much? I don't know. We have to test it. Um, ooh, there's a thing down here that says that uh, uh, people will you will get advertising in 40 seconds, 45 seconds. That's interesting that it tells me that now. Oh, yeah, I think I put in every 30 minutes or so you get advertising. Will you keep it clean inside? The same as ID3. It's still clean. <laughs> Not precise, uh, pristine, but it's clean. Um, so expect a bit more range. Expect a better infotainment system, snappier. I don't know about the startup process, if this is better. I haven't had one. I hope to get an, um, a new version of the ID4 5 in January or so. 
Um, we'll see if I get the ID7 before that, then we know how the hardware is. But I have no idea about delivery time for the ID7. I hope this year, but I don't know. Intensives in Nobe have been removed. Of course, they cost more than 700,000 NUC. Porsche only provides uh, an EV when you wear a suit, tie, and Rolex. Taycan dropped looks awesome. E I already did that. I wait for a Volvo Estate EV. Um, will there be one? Here in regular sea, a silver Turismo with the vegetable slicer rims looks still good. Yep. Chris lost 50% on his Porsche. His Taycan was 150 new and now it's valued at 75. Huh. Nope, now it's 150 new, but it bought. Uh, but when he bought it, nope, now it is 150k new, but when he bought it, it was 120 to 130. Uh -huh. I tried the launch control, not doing that again. <laughs> Why? What does it do with launch control? Is, is there spinning wheels? Is it not nice? Or is it just too much power? i7 wouldn't fit on my driveway in front of my garage you're only allowed to reach out 20 centimeters on the walkway <laughs> it's true have the id7 been delivered to you already no <laughs> uh, id7 is in production right now not mine overall is in production for a few months um, they slowed down the production at some point um, in this plant in emden um, uh, you can order ID7 since the end of August. It was a week before the, the IAA in Munich, the, the motor show. And delivery will start in the next weeks. I don't know when exactly. We'll see. Um, I won't be the first for sure that, because I, I just ordered it way too late. I hope I can get it uh, this year, like I said, that would be amazing, not just for, for the incentives in Germany, like I said in the video, because they are gone on this car uh, uh, in 2024, but also that I can have the car early for you to show you everything. Where were we? Uh, the ID7 front is super ugly, the rest of the car is super nice. I don't think the front is too ugly, but of course that's taste. Um, overall, of course, it's not a car that's... The, the most beautiful car in the world, usually sports car are a bit more beautiful, but they're also not very practical and very comfortable. BMW HID, a concept piano under the hood, no joke. Okay. Are you considering something different when testing cars? I'm thinking of city driving, parking, practical use. I did city driving tests uh, uh, for a while and nobody watched it. That's why I stopped doing that. Parking... Um, the thing is with parking, uh, so parking it you you yourself. Uh, I I uh, say that when I when I talk about the car when I'm driving it that I have a good view and the backup camera is good. When it comes to self parking, where the car does it itself, um, all of them work amazing. Every car that had self-parking, you drive by the parking, it tells you, hey, there's a parking spot, you click it and it does it itself. Um, every car I have seen does it very, very, yes. Practical use, I think I do already with saying how the trunk is, what you can fit in. What I want to do at some point is uh, uh, have some luggage and, and uh, a baby seat or something and see how is it easy it is to put it in and how much space there is. It should be the I no, i7, sorry. Uh, oh, you said about the i7. Um, i7 front, yes, the, the big grill, especially at night with the, with the light is whew, uh, gigantic and look at me. And in the the rest, it looks just like the ice core. I miss my e-tron. <laughs> for the uh, Fastnet has has gone charge curve for the i7. Did you also test it? Um, I didn't test it. I, well, I saw how it's charging. It's charging exactly the same as the iX with the 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 big battery. It's 200 kilowatt peak, and it starts with 195, goes up a bit, and then goes slowly down. It's exact same curve as the iX. M, uh, X Drive 50. No need to test. Electric drive is always the same for generations. What should be different? I don't know what it means. Hi, Chris. One thing I didn't hear you say about your choice of ID7. What does Cindy think of your choosing it? Will Cindy be able to drive it comfortably? I have no idea if she will drive it comfortably. We will see. Uh, good thing is that we will have now electric seats, memory seats. Right now with the ID3, I have to pump up the seat for her that she's on top and it's 24 pumps by the way 
because it's a manual seat and so 24 down for me and 24 up for her and seat in front and now we can do memory seats I just press two for her and one for me or the other way around but I'm guessing I'm one because I'm driving most of the time um, see she doesn't care what car we get she said you choose whatever you want um, Let's be honest, she wants to drive somewhere and if it's fine, then she's okay. She's, she's a, not a fan of some car makers. Um, if it would be her, we would have a Model Y. She loved that car big time, but I'm just not a fan. <laughs> and for ugly cars, what about the new BMW iX2? Um, I think the Neue Klasse will be amazing. Um, will you keep it clean inside? We did that. ID3 was never vacuumed. That's true, but I also didn't bring too much dirt in it. I bought YouTube Premium in Turkey for one euro a month. That's cheap. Chris Workshop told Volkswagen how filthy his white steering wheel was after every visit, so they decided to not get white steering wheels for ID7 release. <laughs> uh, no, my, my I think that the, my, if you I mean if you have dirty hands and you put it on the white steering wheel, the steering wheel is dirty, but it can be cleaned very easily. What I have seen in, in my ID3 with the steering wheel, three times it was at the dealer that did something and three times I had scratches in the steering wheel. Three times I told them, uh, two times I told them and two times they didn't care. They either said, no, it wasn't us or no, you have to find, uh, you have to do it like this and it's gone. And, and so it scratches easy. So when you have a nail, your nail and you, you move around, but it was real leather back in the day. Uh, about the, the, the new not real leather steering wheel, I don't know how that is. And I would have wanted the white steering wheel, but it's just not uh, available right now for whatever reason. Uh, when I, I was sitting in one in uh, March in Spain, I, there, there was a white steering wheel and was all happy for it that it, will, it comes back. But sadly, it's not. Um, 146 views, that's true. Our viewers are here. Hello, everyone. Oh, and 110 likes. How did that happen? I didn't even see that. Thank you very much for the likes. I appreciate that very much. Uh, where were we? More viewers than last time, so like game uh, uh, at start is best. <laughs> My steering wheel is Alcantara. I'm worried I will get it will get dirty easily. I have no idea. I never had a steering wheel with Alcantara. Ad for tuck and car buying website. <laughs> a tuck, it's, it's, it's those those uh, snacks there. Huh? The prices of used Taycans make for a very tempting purchase. More than 150 viewers growing. Um, no, we had 200 uh, viewers at some point when I got the ID3. It got down when the ID3 was less interesting. Imagine being inside a football when somebody kicks it. That's e-tron launch control. No wheel spin with the quadro. Cool. That's nice. Do you have to press a lot of buttons for the launch control? It's just one button and go. Or do you just stand still, push, uh, put left foot on the brake and right foot on the gas and this is launch control. Because in the BMW i4 M50 it was, uh, you have to press something and then do this. It was, was annoying. Viewers drop during ads. <laughs> Someone is watching. Exactly. Uh, oh, one other thing. You will be able to move the ID7 with your phone when you are not in it. Yes, is this an extra cost option? No, um, but it's an extra app. It's not. That's what was told to me in March in Spain. So for the ID7, there will be an extra app plus the normal we, we, uh, Volkswagen app that is now. And uh, with this, you can move it out of a parking and in. I, it works with Bluetooth, I think. Uh, uh, we'll see if this is available when the car comes out. I have no idea. Nobody talked about it since then. Maybe they also kicked it. And it, because I don't see it on the website when you order it, it's ne it hasn't been mentioned since then. Wonder if you'll be able to charge ID7 with a Tesla supercharger using CCS connector. You don't have to wonder. Yes, you can, for sure. Um, so we have a lot of superchargers here that have CCS for for Model Three, Model Y, three. I can say it. And with the when you have the Tesla app, you can start that. I can park my car with my phone from the outside, not tried it yet. Um, and the other thing is too, do you really need it? That's the other thing. It, it's nice to have a gimmick like this, but when are you using it? But if you need to use it, why not? 
Um, I the same with the Kia EV6 and the Kia uh, Nero EV. I, I tried it, but I never had to use it. Looking forward to the ID7 content. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward as well. I did spec up ID7 on on Norwegian Volkswagen site around 66,000 euros. I think I was. That's I have I had more. <laughs> <laughs> Alcantara is just plastic, it should be okay to clean as information. Launch control must be in dynamic, then it just press brake and throttle, then release brake by. That's awesome. So you're just in a special drive mode and then you can do it. But in, in that drive mode, is it then automatically that the motor sound is on or can you turn that off? That would be nice. Yes, we then we talk about what we talked about that we talk about the ID7 in a second. First, we'll talk about what's coming up in the next week. I got email. What is that? Ah, oh, crap. eBay. Don't need that. Who is fifty-eight thousand euros? What? I would be okay. Fifty-eight. <laughs> uh, uh, what was the? I don't know what you did. Um, uh, what did I say? Ah, yeah, what's coming up next? Um, so this week I still have the uh, BMW iX1 till Wednesday. On Tuesday, I'm so happy and I find it so cool. Um, I, I rode Hyundai, I don't know how many times, if I can be invited to a press event for the new Hyundai Kona, the new facelift. They never replied. Uh, they, they gave me uh, 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 a few cars. They gave me the, the, the last corner. Then they gave me Ionic 5 a year later. And they uh, offered me Ionic 6 in January. End of January. Though that's nice. Um, I have no motor sound. There was an option. You are the man. Um, motor sound is crap. Nobody needs that. Um... And uh, um, when I noticed that the, the, the you know, new Kona is coming to dealers, I asked a lot of dealers if, can, if I can have a car and do a range test. I asked Jürgen Sangel in Landsberg am Lech. He said, I can have it. The other one didn't reply. Um, and then when I said, can I, can I test it next week? He said, I'm sorry, I, I rented it out for four weeks. It will come in November or even later. Um, and so I was, okay, that's not going to happen. And then uh, Hyundai wrote me this week, say, hey, hi, we just got this week the new Hyundai Kona and we have a free spot next week on the 17th for October for two weeks. Do you want it? And I said, yes, I want it. Um, and it will be problematic because at the same time I have uh, the new Audi Q, uh, Audi Q8 e-tron also here. This will come on Thursday. So this week I will have four cars at the same time. No, almost. <laughs> because now I have the BMW iX1, Volkswagen ID3 in the garage. Then on Tuesday comes the Hyundai Kona. On Wednesday BMW will be picked up and on Thursday the Audi will be coming. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I could test the last two weeks uh, two cars. So I think in the next two weeks I can test two cars as well. I can do it. Maybe I take even one holiday day, a day off at work and do the Kona a bit more in depth because the Kona deserves it. It should have a new charging curve. It should have a slightly bigger battery, more features, vehicle to home or vehicle to load and stuff like this. So I'm excited about that. You need an assistant. <laughs> no, I need to, to quit working so I can have more time for the cars and events and stuff. I was invited by BYD uh, to drive in 11 days uh, the, the, the new seal for 90 minutes and the dolphin for 90 minutes. But uh, I had to decline because I can't get off work uh, on that day. Um, it's the Thursday because my co-worker is getting a new kitchen and she's not there. She can't work for me. And the day after, on the 27th, I'm invited by Kia uh, to Nice. Um, and I can drive the Kia EV9 in Nice uh, for a few hours. So I'm, I'm flying there extremely early at 6.45 in the morning. I have to get up at 4 or earlier. And <laughs> Björn got a double garage to park four cars. <laughs> oh. Um, and so I, I, I fly to Nice in, in the, extremely in the, in the morning, then drive the Kia EV9 and then next morning I fly back home. So it's, it's a bit hard. 
Uh, when, Ke when Kyle tried the new Q Q8 e-tron, he said it was just the same as the old one. Yeah, the, the thing is, I, I drove the old one just once for an hour and I didn't like it, so we'll see how the new one is. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so BYD I had to cancel, sadly. Couldn't do it. I was also invited to the ID7 media drive. I also had to cancel that. First of all, I get my car a few weeks later and it was in the holidays and I already have an event there and so I, uh, uh, Cindy and I talked about it and I can't be on holidays, four days gone. It, it For me, I need holidays as well and it's for her that we do something together because we want to go somewhere. Um, so I had to cancel that and I drove the ID7 already and it, I will drive it a lot uh, in a few weeks so that that's why no. Um, so what else is happening? Uh, I have to think. Uh, go to my calendar there. Yeah, ba -ba -ba -ba. Kona, Audi A8, Kia EV9. Then in November, at the end of November, I get the Kia EV6 GT for two days. Then afterwards I get the MG4. Finally, I asked MG for a year since the MG4 is being delivered if I can test the car. They always said no. They had a car at the dealership in the, in the area. I asked if I can test this. They said no. I can only drive it for an hour and someone will driving with me. I'm not allowed to take pictures or film the car. That was really, really weird. <laughs> Um, and now they agreed to give me one week with an MG4 and it will be the standard version. So the, the small battery with no options, almost no option, the cheapest MG4 there is. I'm excited about that, that it's uh, uh, to see if someone is really trying to save as much money as possible how the car is. I want to see that. Um, and that's it for this. Isn't, isn't December, I think, is empty. Yes, December is empty and then January the Ionic 6, that's also for... No, it's not the long range version, it's the 51 kilowatt hour battery, it's the smallest thing ever. Then, what do we have? Uh, to be honest, one week uh, had cost park too close to my car size and if I could use my phone to move, it would be great. Like I said, some people, when you are in the city, I get it, if you need it. I have a garage, I'm not in the city, I will never... Uh, Maybe I will use it to get it out of the garage, but I doubt it. And I don't even know if it wants it, if it had, has 30 centimeters on each side. Oh, God. Um, um, ba -ba -ba. Q8, the only real German Brosswood brand, double garage. Uh, the Max ID7 without sunroof costs 82,000 with two ho tow hook. We do have both VAT and additional registration tax. No incentives other than lower tax. Woo, that's a lot of money. Doesn't cost that here. Tow hook is a thousand. Uh, sunroof uh, is eleven hundred or so. <coughs> you only work part time, anyways. Four days. Yeah, but that's more than half of the week that I'm that I could do something else. That's the thing. Kona will just be like Kia Niro, I think. Old EV tech. It's still old, but a lot of people. I see so many Konas driving around. It's still a very interesting car, and they updated a few things. Like I said. Charging uh, mo uh, battery uh, and um, 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 interior is a bit more spacious. All of this. I'm excited. If you could drive the Dolphin, it would be great. Yes, I would love to, but I, I just can't. I'm sorry. I can't. When I can order the ID7 here in Cyprus, I expect it will cost 70,000 in basic form. By the time I spec it up, I'm guessing 90 with two motors and big battery. Well, the big battery will be more and in a while in the GTX also. So if I, if even in Germany, big motor and, and, and GTX, I'm sure starts at 70, something like this. What about the Renault Scenic? I thought you told us you were invited. No, I never said that. Nope. I would love to be invited. I asked Renault for it, but no, didn't, didn't hear anything about that. Um, be nice about the MG or you won't get any more. <laughs> I'm nice to everyone. How much is the base MG4 in Germany? I have no idea. Let's look. Should we look? Where are we? MG motor. 
DE configurator. Oh. Let's configure one. MG4, standard, 51, 32,312, but uh, uh, delivery cost of a thousand euros. So, th but that's with every car. So 32, if you want a different color, if you want different options, the comfort is 5,000 more, the luxury is 7,000 euros more, the X power is 12,000 more, every color costs 650, what else do we have? Every color 650, yeah, we did that. So it starts at 32. Interesting, interesting. And it's white for the cheapest one. Uh, a name for your IDC when, when you will reveal it. Um, I have a name. Cindy told me uh, don't don't uh, spook it or whatever. Uh, I will. I think I already said it on the live stream, but I want to keep it and, and really call him that when he's here. Or when I'm in the car, when I uh, when I when I see it in front of me, then we do it. <laughs> Sorry if I already asked. When is delivery time for I, for i7? You mean id7? I have no idea. I they 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 told me approximately when it will be built. This is also not set. This can change. There can be always be changes, and I don't even know when delivery of the id7 overall starts and when. I will get the card. No idea. Let's be honest. Chris only wants to play with the Cyberstar when it's released. I would want to play with that. That's true. MG4 cheap in UK, expensive in Germany. Actual LFP batteries could be used 0 to 100 percent instead of 110 to 80 percent. So real everyday range is not the difference between short and long range. That applies to Tesla as well. Uh, that's true. The hundred percent for sure, but not a lot of people are driving an electric car under ten percent. Who does that? That's just way too risky. When do you get the Lotus Elettre? I asked Lotus. They said we will forward this to our whatever who does that, and but nobody. Uh, <laughs> my car is called Brunhilde. That's a great name, Darren, for an Audi. Ooh, I said it. Well, you said it too. Yeah. Ha! So, let's talk about the ID7. Because this was a bit of a, a struggle uh, at the end. So, if you have seen my videos, so I thought about getting the ID7 for a long time. Since I drove it in March, um, it really affected me. I was, this is nice, I want that. Even though I drove it for 45 minutes, but a lot of people, when they go to a dealership and test drive a car, they don't drive that much longer. Uh, the Lotus looks like the MG4. Huh? Isn't the Elettra an SUV? Um, and um, I, I really thought this could be my next car and they told me what it will be cost and then I looked in the configurator of Volkswagen what a leasing would be if I would lease a car for that price and it was around 650 euros and then uh, ID7 got in the configurator in the end of August and it was 900 euros, 920 even, instead of 650 and I thought this is too much, This I, I, I can't afford this. And that's why I didn't order it right away. And then uh, luckily in October 1st I changed the leasing conditions and I also changed a few things that it's cheaper. Uh, no uh, uh, heat pump and uh, uh, less kilometers and now it's affordable. It's not cheap, but it's affordable to me and it's not just for the channel. It's 80%. It's for me personal what I want and what 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 I want in a daily daily driver and if I have to go somewhere far away and um, and uh, the thing is I, I love my ID3 but I noticed extremely fast, I would say in the first three months, when I had to go a bit farther. I remember in December, three months after I got the ID3, I went to the ID4 media drive in Wolfsburg and I already saw that in winter, in December, um, 
on the highway it's not too much range i have to charge over 80 percent to get to the next charger 160 kilometers away um, with a bit of safety and driving 130 on the highway uh, i asked seeker also for a press car uh, uh, and they said they will pull, put me on a list they don't have too many cars that means not for a long time and uh, so i was i uh, was uh, where was I? What was I just saying? Yeah, so I, I knew that the ID3 uh, doesn't give me the range and the charging. Back then it was even charged to 100% and uh, 100 kilowatt, now it's 130, but still the curve is, is not that much better. It wasn't uh, uh, the experience I wanted, and then I drove other cars with a 77 kilowatt hour battery uh, and better charging, and it was just way better, and I knew this is what I would want. In an uh, ID7, uh, just when we talk technology, the big battery, I don't need the, the 90 kilowatt hour, 86 kilowatt hours usable. I don't need 700 kilometers double LTP range. Let's say on the highway that's 50 kilometers more for, I'm guessing, three, 4,000 euros more. Um, I don't need that. It sounds nice, but I also don't need that. And it's heavier. So the, if you don't get the GTX, that means that the power, the 286 horsepower, 210 kilowatt, don't feel that powerful. I, and I drove the ID7. It feels, because it's heavier, very, very similar to the ID3 that I have now with a smaller battery. So the weight needed that power to give it the same feeling. That's awesome. I can extend warrant, warranty for my uh, Renault e tech three more years for around 800 to 900 euros. Do you think that money is paying good? Oh, yes, it is. 900 euros is nothing for three more years. Go get it. Of course, I can't imagine something will break on it, though. Still, get it. You don't know. I mean, they know, too. They're not stupid. They know, okay, our car is working fine. Um, and uh, uh, in, the th in the three years more, it doesn't happen too often, but still do that. Does ID7 charge faster than ID3? My ID3, yes. The ID3 with the big battery should be the same. So peak 170 to 180 kilowatt, and then it goes down. It's the same charging curve as ID4, 5, GTX. That would be expensive, I guess. Um, I can't extend one. I just we just did that. <laughs> uh, you you said it again. Um, so this is already and ID7 is more efficient than the ID3. So I get more range, especially at higher speeds because of the drag coefficient. I get more range out of it. Um, and then on top, I have the more space I don't need, except for the trunk. Trunk space in the in the ID3 was sometimes a bit. I could be a bit more when we went somewhere or when I had to bring a lot uh, for filming than space. But rear seats, I don't need that much space. So the space in the rear seats for, for our three dogs, it, that's not necessary. I love that my ID7 will have uh, heated rear seats on the side because if it's really cold, um, I can turn those on and so the, the dogs have it even a bit warmer if this usually it should be fine <coughs> my voice is gone but sometimes that's just nice to have it's a nice bonus it, it's in the package that I wanted anyways I wouldn't have gotten it uh, I have your charging race 10 to 80 percent now I think you win uh, no problem <laughs> Um, I have never seen the charging curve of the Taycan though. Um, as far as I know, it, it's extremely fast to 50% and then it, it tempers off as, uh, as I know. Did you compare the WT3 high consumption between ID7 and ID3? Not too much difference. What is uh, high consumption? Well, but I don't I don't compare WLTP ranges because it's it's just, uh, not the test that I will be doing. I'm pretty sure on the highway at 130 ID7 will be better than ID3 with the same battery. Maybe you what you mean is with the small battery that that is lighter. Mm. But then the ID7 uh, uh, features that I love and I want. First of all. 
uh, head-up display is better and the focus on it I like that negative that the cockpit is smaller and it doesn't have the same infos I said it in the video that I don't have the, 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 the trip data in the cockpit I love this in the ID3 and then I love this in the ID4 5 and so on as well that said I love the new steering wheel that it has a, a steering wheel heater on the and I will still pull 100 kilowatt at 80 percent. That is just awesome. That's really awesome. You lucky bastard. No, that is that is really awesome. 800 volt system. I have no idea how when the first car with 800 volt came out, not everybody scrapped everything they ever made and said we're gonna go 800 volt. It's just I don't see a negative with it. Maybe the cost of building it is a bit higher. You need a special DC DC converter for 400 volt if you charge this. But Hyundai and Kia do it for the EV6 and the Ionic 5. So I don't get it. It can't be that bad. Yeah, 800 volt system is amazing. I only drove three cars with 800 volt system ionic 5 and kia ev6 rear wheel drive and all wheel drive <laughs> and they all three charge amazing 800 volt makes a lot more sense it it's amazing it's the best system ever yeah totally weird uh, today i charged uh, the bmw ix1 at seven percent the the car has 200 the, the battery has uh, has 290 volt at uh, 85%, it was, I think it was 350 or so. That's very low voltage and the charging power peak was 125. It wasn't good. Um, ID3 Pro S WDP high out the bond 188, ID7 180. But again, we'll see. I, st I still think it's great. And don't, don't you dare knock my new car. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stack a lot of cells to get to 800 volt. If Hyundai do it, then Volkswagen should too. Everyone should do it. The, the only one that won't do it is Tesla because they have the, this Im immense big charging system with the superchargers and they can upgrade this to 800 volt. This will cost billions and billions. That's why they won't do it. But all the rest can do it because there are so many CCS chargers with 800 volt. They can support that. Which car can you drive 200 kilometers speed more than 200 kilometers range? I have no idea. You mean 200 kilometers an hour for more than 200 kilometers? Well, first of all, there are not too many electric cars that can go drive above 200 kilometers an hour. It's not too many. It's Tesla, it's the sporty Audis, uh, but the rest is limited to 160, 180, uh, even Ionic 5 and so go barely to 200. It's not too easy to adjust on the fly. What I don't understand so is new platforms without 800 volt. Now, of course it's not easy to do it. Okay, I won't knock in the car. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> don't just say something negative that I think about and then hmm what is the wrong decision <laughs> no um, I, I understand that you don't uh, change a existing platform but you can update it a bit apparently the Cybertruck is 800 home for what I've heard in recent interview really how do you charge this then can't be on a supercharger why would there be 800? What's the, the advantage of an 800 volt system if it's not in charging? What other advantage is there? But we're, we're, we're off now. So um, ID7 with low consumption, especially on high, high speeds, and then the bigger battery and uh, good charging. I'm very happy to do long distance trips in this car and it will be extremely comfortable because it has the new DCC. They told me in, 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 in Spain about it that it's uh, faster control and more, more stable, more comfortable, adjusts everything way faster. Um, I will have DCC of course. I will can set it to, to very comfortable. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But I assume the new folks v4 supercharger support the new performance with 800 volt. Really? I thought they didn't. Maybe they can divide the, the oak to two times 400 volt like the Macan. Oh. Or the ding. Doesn't the, the, the hammer do the same thing? 
Uh, does ID7 have a frunk yet? No, it won't. Um, I, I, Volkswagen was never into a frunk. And, and to be honest, as, as long as I can fit a charging cable somewhere, I don't need a frunk as well. I never saw this big... Uh, I understand if you need more space if you go somewhere, but on, on a daily basis, I, I, I just never... I always had enough space. Uh, the only thing is the charging cable. So if you need an AC charging cable in the ID3, it was when it's always around the thing, I get it to put it in front, that's nice. But other than that, if you have a, 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 a different space for the, for the AC charging cable, or like me, when you never need it, I mean, in, in three years, over three years owning the ID3, um, I, I used the AC charging cable on a, on, a, on, a, on a trip, not at home or at work at some point. I was charging a few times. Um, there was a free charger around work that I used for two months or so. But other than that, I think I used it four or five times. And three times of those were at the uh, motor show <laughs> in Munich in September. I, once in Nuremberg, I can remember, and once in... Uh, again at the, in Munich Motor Show. Oh my God! Um, a new network for trucks. Uh, they need megawatt charging. Cool. Uh, taking my car over the Pyrenees in December should be fun. I'm sure it will be fun. You lucky guy, you. Um, yes. So mm, let's talk about the technology thing. I love about the ID7 and why it also uh, uh, was very interesting to me. The Brits have third-party open trunks for around 200 euros for the Ena. Cool. That's nice. Is, is Skoda okay with it? That there's no heat or anything or whatever? Um, uh, so what I love about the ID7 is then the new, the new display, the 15-inch, not the 12.9 and 12.3-inch. I still don't know. <laughs> From the ID4 or 5. It's a bigger screen. I like it. It didn't feel too big in the ID7. I was driving it. The car overall didn't feel too big. I wasn't in the car and thought, oh my god, this is gigantic. In the BMW i7, I felt it when I was driving around. And when I drove the ID7 in Spain, we had to drive very narrow things. It was totally fine. I had no problem with it. And uh, so I like the new screen, the new software, ID Software 4.0. I will ask Volkswagen a lot of questions about it before it comes out. I hope I can find someone who can answer me. How does the preheating work? With how much power does it work? When does it heat up the battery? Um, the, the summon function I want to ask, when will it come? Will the, the normal Volkswagen app have new features with ID Software 4.0? Nobody talked about it yet. Um, different charging curves for with with ID Software 4.0, a lot of this. Um, I'm excited about new ID Software 4 with the new screen because I've tested it in in Spain in March, and it also I don't know why I have to say it, <laughs> where and when. Who cares? I tested it. Sorry, I apologize. Um, the climate is just 10 times better. You have your uh, 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 illuminated climate buttons that you can change your, your temperature, but also have, I think, four different buttons that you can configure what it is. So AC or recirculation and I don't know what. And then you have seat heating and seat cooling. You have real uh, the, the, the buttons on the screen like every other car maker had before, but they didn't. But for example, BMW also doesn't have. In both BMWs that I have for the last two weeks, you cannot turn on the seat heating with one button. You have to go into climate and turn seat heating on. Only the temperature you can turn uh, change all the time. Uh, the Audi app is rubbish, too slow and not enough features. Eh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about the climate. I'm excited that I can adjust so many things. There's the, the, the car menu that comes from left where you can have different things that you can adjust. I think it's six or nine, uh, eight different 
uh, tiles that you can change that it's something different on top you have your small things with parking assist drive mode you can also change what you want to see and what you don't want to see i love it it was very snappy you can go around uh, very fast the new charging thing like i said with preheating of the battery when you navigate to a charger or manually and when you do it manually it tells you how much uh, how many kilowatt of power you get at the charger so when you are driving to a charger and you, uh, you're not navigating to it and you see, oh, I only get 70 kilowatt, the battery is cold, you press it and then you should see that number go up and I'm excited to see that, how it's going to work. Um, to be honest, I'm excited that you continue with Volkswagen because we will be able to see through you if Volkswagen is improved, for example, will there be over-the-air updates? Exactly. I want to see that too. If uh, 4.0, the updates will work better because the hardware is different, for sure. I have played around with ID Software 4.0 and the hardware is different. I don't know if it's fundamentally different or uh, if it's just updated a bit we'll see how over the air updates are then tesla supercharger v4 spec sign is marked 1000 volt 615 amp so don't be surprised if they and cybertruck go 800 volt that's true cool but only for uh, version 4 all the rest you just gets not as much power but that's cool it's really cool can id7 get 200 kilometers of range if you drive 100 kilometers an hour speed for an for an hour I think so. I think I can. If I, if I drive in the ID3 uh, uh, top speed, that the, the thing is this top speed, so driving 180 is not that much high consumption. Listen, the problem is accelerating to it over and over again. So if I drive on the highway and the highway would be empty and I sped up to 160 with my ID3 or 180 to, with the ID7 and again then can continuously drive with 180. The consumption is higher of course but it's not that bad as if I'm accelerating to 180 a car comes out, I have to slow down to 130, 30, accelerate to 180 again, and this over and over again. This is the bad consumption thing. I tried 100 kilometers with speed over 200 kilometers. Consumption was enormous. <laughs> Can you move the tiles around on the ID7 screen? Well, I know for the shortcuts, I don't know for the for the normal tiles. I think so because I can do it in the in in the ID3 right now. So, but I'm not, I'm not sure because the system is different. In ID3 now, I can move the tiles around how I want. In ID7, I know that the, the shortcuts underneath, on the side and on top, I can move and change. I don't know about the main tile window. I haven't done that. I don't know. Yes, so I'm excited about this. Then I'm excited about the seats. The seats look very promising to me. I... Uh, so far, I liked every seat that Volkswagen had in a seat, even like the ID3. Cindy is different. Cindy hated the sport seat and she will hate the ID7 seats <laughs> because it also has a thing on the side. It's not the sport seats. I hope it's a bit softer and not that high. So where you sit in and she can get over and also it's not an SUV. She doesn't have to get from outside so high. So I, th I hope it will be better, but I'm not sure. So far she was in the sport seats only in an ID4 or an ID5. That means the seat because of SUV was higher and she had to get over the bump on the, on the side of the seats, if you know what I mean. Um, and uh, uh, this is, is, was hurting her and she hated it so much. And I hope that in the ID7 it's less because the seat will be lower and maybe this thing cushioning is not on the side is not that high and not that hard. But what I like about those seats, and this is not something that's extraordinary, uh, that it has heated seats and cooled seats, so ventilated seats, it happens in a lot. But I haven't seen it that you can do both at the same time. I think uh, 
Kia and Hyundai can do that at the same time. I noticed uh, in both cars and the Kona as well that ventilated seats even in one on one are extremely cold. If you freeze your ass off, it's horrible. I, I, I used it in every uh, Hyundai and Kia I had for a second and then I was, no, this is too much. So when I was sweating on my back and I in the summer and I thought this is too warm, let's try the ventilated seats, it was too much. So I, even on one, I could never use it. And I used it in the ID7, just the cooling. I can't remember if it was on one. I don't know, Matthias and I used it, it was fine. But there were, there's also drying and then the, the, uh, the, the massage. The massage is something, I get it that it's a new massage technology. So in the older cars, you have the lumbar support that then moves up and sideways and massages your back. In the ID7, it's air, little air air bags <laughs> that blow up and 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 down uh, and and leave the air again. And it's it's loud, so you can hear it very well. It was in a prototype, so we'll see how it is in the in the in the in the production version. But I don't think it will be that different. So it's really. <sighs> It sounds like Darth Vader in your back, but I took the premium seats to also have it in the, in the bottom, so on your bum, that will that will uh, uh, move you, and that should uh, should be good for long distance driving. So I'm excited about that. Um, what else? I think that's it. <laughs> I think we did everything. Just popping in. Hey, Kyle, how are you? To say hi, excited for your ID7 calendar. Hey, thanks for the for being a member. Kyle is now a member. Kyle from Out of Spec Refuse. Go over there and subscribe. Amazing channel. We did a nice video in uh, in in Munich. Was nice to meet him. Very nice guy. Amazing videos. He's the man. Uh, go subscribe now. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he congratulated me on the ID3 video. Thank you very much. And he's supporting the channel. So we support him. <laughs> Is it like kitten paws? Uh, do the massages have a happy ending? No, they do not. Shout out to Carl, that's true. Is it like kitten paws? No, the, the, the massage thing is a bit more like, more stronger. Kitten paws are a bit softer. What is expected consumption of ID7 from two? I have no idea <laughs> that the double LTP is just lower than all the other ID cars so far, even though it has a bigger battery, even lower than mine with this uh, ID3 with a smaller battery. So very excited. Yes, I think that's it for the day. Uh, we talked a lot. You can expect i7 videos this week, the BMW. Hopefully all three, I only uh, edited one so far. I have two more to go and then iX1 videos. Then hopefully Kona comes on Tuesday. Test this, maybe I take Wednesday off and do it this Wednesday, I don't know yet. Um, if I can. And then, yes. Hi Carl, bought an e-tron 55 2019 because of you. Uh, many cobalt. <laughs> That's cute. Pretty sweet new dog. Oh, you got. He has a new dog. Oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah, I'm. I'm horrible. I don't watch any other electric cars, car videos, and not because I don't like the people. They're all nice. It's just uh, I. I don't want to be spoiled if I test a car and I already have an opinion of it because someone else said something. I tried it and I'm doing this the whole time. Uh, in my free time, I watch something different. <laughs> Double chip consumption can be improved by employing a more efficient AC charger. How can the consumption be improved by a, a better charging? I don't get it. A lighter charger? I don't get it. Yes, so. I think that's it. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for the 133 likes. That is extraordinary. That is very, very exciting. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy. Oh, I didn't talk about the, 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 the whole problem with the, with the, the ordering. So I wanted to, to order the, the ID7 already a week ago. Uh, it is with charging losses. Oh, yeah, that's true. 
Um, so I wanted to do uh, order ID7 last week already, and then, and then I, I, uh, uh, and in my head I was okay. I have my ID3. I bought winter tires for the ID3. I didn't get it with with the ID3, so I bought it myself. They're, they're mine, and I thought they will fit on the ID7. Should be no problem. But then I thought I should ask them. So I asked the dealer, hey. Uh, is are my uh, winter tires from the ID3 fitting on the ID7? And it took a bit, and then they told me, no, this won't fit. And so, oh my God, I have to uh, think about: Do I want? Do I buy new ones, or do I uh, order ones with ID7? And I thought about it, and I looked at them. And yes, I, I do this, so they're in the leasing, I give them back because maybe next car they also won't fit and then I have tires laying around and thinking about if I can sell them. I have to sell the, the uh, Walters uh, winter tires then, I don't know who wants those and what they are worth. I drove them for three years. I mean, they're totally fine, no scratches and anything, but the, the tire itself is not uh, uh, the, the new. Uh, and what well, I drove... No, I drove three winters. This will be the fourth winter if I drive with them, but hopefully the car is gone before that. Walter leasing ends on December 10th. I hope I get the ID7 before that. Would the ID4 not three tires fit? I have no idea. I just asked for those tires. I asked them I have this specific tires. I still knew the Leon Black 19 inch. And they checked and no, I had to buy tires for my leasing car for just two years. Oh no! <laughs> and so, uh, and I thought back then when I leased the ID3, I should have gotten winter tires with it as well. I don't know if they were available back then. I don't know if I could have, but I should have done that. It's cheaper uh, because uh, I saw the price at some point for the ID3 winter tires in the configurator and the one I bought were more expensive. So I should have done that. Uh, ID7 would be a nice Christmas present from Volkswagen. Well, I, I would have loved if it would be before Christmas. <laughs> so uh, you are happy with the new Volkswagen i7? Well, all the buyers of the old IDs have teased day with shitty crappy software. Come on, it's not shitty crappy. <laughs> Um, but I can still be happy and people are updating. ID Thrive will arrive on December 31st. <laughs> uh, at least 31st it would still be 23, so that would be nice. Um, um, when I know when delivery time can be, then I can think of if I pick it up, where and how and what we do and all of this. But this will take a, a while. I will let you know. But that's it for me. Thank you all for being here. For the many, many likes, I have not bought winter tires yet for my Skoda Enyaq due to Meteor in Luxembourg tomorrow. We'll take the bus to work. Oh, okay. So, you all take care. I see you next week, hopefully. Um, see you in the videos. Bye. Did I record it? No, it wasn't.